YouTube? Liz here from the Detroit Grooming Company and joining me today is my good friend Mike. What's up everybody? So today we're going on an adventure. Right Mike? That's right Liz. We're, we're going on a crazy adventure. Actually taking this uh, this beard which is I've grown it in for like eight months now um, and we're gonna go get it shaped up and fixed up by our friend Aubrey, the Zilla. The Zilla. Yep, so come along for a little vlog with us and uh, Let's see how it's done. Yeah, come on, I got the keys. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we'll see you guys later. Well, first of all, I'm super excited because after eight months of not having um, this trimmed, mm. like, I've taken scissors to it, like some of the edges and stuff, like loose, longer hair. I've taken scissors to it, and uh, that seemed to help out, but not enough i feel mm. i still feel like fuzzy you know yeah and there's unnecessary weight on the outside when you want weight on the inside for density purposes so so this will be your first professional beard trim and you said eight months in eight months yeah so that's the whole time you've been growing your beard out yeah yep since i shaved it in november for the uh american cancer society doing it again this year hopefully I won't have to shave again. That's oh my that's my Oh my gosh, hope. we better start now. Yep. So I'm super excited because Aubrey, like, she does the works when it comes to beards. She does. She, she does, like, the whole, like, she washes the beard, she conditions the beard, which I feel like a lot of barbers don't do that um, just because I don't think they know how because it's, it's a little bit difficult when you're in the shop. It's like, where do I wash their beard? Oh, yeah, exactly. And she's got a real, like, clever way of doing it and... Um, and yeah, she's a consummate professional. Uh, I've had my beard trimmed from her before, and actually I had a memory pop up on Instagram uh, from like three years ago when I'd gone in and gotten a beard trim there. I think it was before a show or something we were doing uh, one of these craft shows. So I'm pumped, I'm pumped for it. Plus you're absolutely right, there's this whole experience component to it, and she's super proud of like this experience that she's, she's built um, you know, for her clients. So we're gonna give everybody, all, all you awesome folks, we're gonna give you a look behind the curtain uh, to see how that whole process shakes out. And maybe get some like tips and techniques for like home, right? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do this, y'all. Let's do it. Finger guns. Don't you dare. Do it. Don't finger, do show, it. Don't finger gun <laughs> the innocent. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Just hand me the camera when we're on the freeway and I could take like both hands off the, f the steering wheel. Absolutely not. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. That's People not do happening. it all the time. It's, I see it all the time. It's literally not happening. I don't know if you guys know this, but um, <clears throat> Mike is uh... a good driver. <laughs> say it. You can say a good Mike, driver. Well, I'd say he's a good driver. He just doesn't stop for red lights. This one was green. Just that to was let green. everybody know. Yes. And in the state of Michigan, you're allowed to take out no more than three orange barrels and not get ticketed. It's it's an amazing law we have here. And they're literally everywhere. Yeah. The orange barrels. Yep. Oh, and oh, yeah. coming to a complete stop. Dude, it's literally the worst highway in all of the United States right here. I-75, it's always being worked on and never being completed, right, would you say? Yeah, it's been in, um, under construction for, uh, I think, since I was in high school. Kind of left. And then I'll, I'll, I'll kind of, I'll left, I'll courteously, see, he's, it's all set, it's all set, we're not blocking any, sorry, sorry. From Georgia, I'm not. I'm not a good representative of Michigan. All right, yo. Lock the doors. We're locked and loaded. We're here at the Sola Salon Suites, and uh, we're gonna go get this uh, this beard handled. Let's you, do it. You know how they handle beards in this place. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Yep. Check out this door handle. I mean, like literally it's scissors. Remember, don't grab it by the blades. <laughs> Thank you, sir.
It's the Zilla! What's happening? It's her! How are you? Good, how are you? Are you excited? I am. We're shaving it all off, right? Yep, that's okay. right. Yep. We'll start from the middle of the back and work our way all right. forward. Perfect. Dude, I can't wait. <laughs> can't wait. Alright. How do you what's the best way to like sit in a barber chair? I don't. Okay, so a lot of people because the chair is bumped up. Yeah. A yeah. lot of people step on this and the little chair goes whoosh forward. Mm -hmm. Step over and just ease yourself back. Just like that. It's a <laughs> just simple like and that. easy. So you said jump with both feet on the platform. Yes, exactly. Right. <laughs> there we go. So far so good, right? Perfect. You're a natural. Yeah, I've been sitting for a long time. <laughs> What do you want for your birthday? <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. That's well, what I like to see. Consider this my gift to you <laughs> through Aubrey. Yeah. Well, thank you both thank you so much. All right. So this just goes over because I'm going to be up in your grill and awkward eye contact is maybe not a good thing. Mm. Perfect. Just to let you know, my eyes are completely open <laughs> right now. I'm going to keep them open. If you th if you thought looking me in the eye is awkward, just <laughs> Knowing that your eyes are open. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, the camera's not really close to your face right now. They're, it's, they're cooking in my eyelids like oysters right now. So, this, is the, this is the amazing part of the experience. I think that, uh, that when you get your beard trimmed, depending on where you go, see she's got the microwave on. It's yep. amazing. Ready to warm you up. Is that peppermint you use? Yes. Is it too strong? No, it's very refreshing. So what is your goal? I probably should have asked you this before I try. <laughs> well, um, my goal is to clear out any transparency from down below and get a good shape on the beard. So okay. um, I like the, the cow catcher style, like in the front, so where it's flatter in the front, and then yes. yeah, and then a little bit in on the sides there. I'm sure you can see it's like tapered tighter. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Right. So when people come come in and they're looking for beard trims, you, you often start with the uh, with the obvious question, right? Yeah. Is yeah. a picture um, preferable for you? Does Pictures are good, but I usually have, like, we'll go through the haircut first, and then I'll go through, let me take this off of you so you don't feel awkward. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I'll go through. I'll put it back on. <laughs> I'll go through and taper this in just to make sure that that's like something that they're going for. Right. If they want to go tighter, I'll go tighter. Usually a lot of people right now are getting the really tight taper straight on the bottom, so as full as they can possibly get it. Thank you. And then are you leaving the length over your lip? Um, yes, but maybe trim it back just slightly. Like, if it's too long, thank you. Thanks for the extreme <laughs> close-up. Uh, if it's if it seems like it's a little bit too long, maybe maybe take a little bit off. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think it's to your bottom lip now. Yeah, yeah your like when I do this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I wouldn't take too much off. I would no. just clean up the little edges off. Yeah, of I don't want it to look like um, Ron Swanson. Yeah. <laughs> so it's too straight across. Yes. Right? Yes. All right, lights off for you. All right. Good night, everyone. <laughs> I, mean, I like to get the shape before I do any of the products. Just so I can kind of see start it off like what we're working with. Just the outline. Now, when you have people come in for trims like this, do you prefer that they shape it or, or use product before they come in? Nope. Or prefer without? Without. Okay. I like to see where, when they don't have product in it, where it's naturally going to fall. Okay. And then um, after, a lot of my clients like to use beard straighteners. I'm so really not into it. Um, I was kind of super excited about it, but then I just like it better when I blow dry the beard because yeah. I feel like I have more control. That makes sense. Yeah, and I'll go through and I'll um, section your beard out, especially yours because it's really thick. Just so I can get underneath the hair as well. Okay. Aubrey, if it looks like I'm getting really close to you guys, we've got like a fisheye lens on. Oh, yeah. So um, it's not actually that close. Oh, no, yeah. you're good. You know what the deal is with fish eyes. <laughs> They're weird. 
<laughs> we have, by the way, no idea if that's how fish see things or not. <laughs> We're just guessing. Um, I also like to leave my, my cheek oh. like undone as well. Okay. Like the, but just so you can see where the natural line might be. Yeah. So is that typically a good idea as well? Like don't don't shave down yes. too low? Yes. I have some clients where I have to like have them refill their beard line, their natural line, because they take it off. And then now you have like a super deep, sharp line. And so I end up just fading everything in to make it kind of look like it was supposed to be like that. Right. Until they can like slowly transition back into what they were going for. Do you actually like doing uh, beard trims? You know, some oh my gosh, this is my favorite thing to do. Really? Yeah, if I could do these on everybody, it would be a great day. She's a sculptor. <laughs> Michelangelo. What kind of clippers do you use, Audrey? I do wall everything. I love wall. Just, I agree. I, I don't know why, but I'm just super obsessed with it. A lot of people like the Cleveland and Andes, and I've tried the Andes, which they're not terrible. They're just really heavy. Yeah. Wall is really light and easy to work with, and um, I have carpal tunnel, so mm. holding the clippers all day is a pain, and these are probably the easiest ones. Are those magic clips? clips? Yes. Heck yeah. Yeah. I'm a I'm retired, but back in the day I I uh, flipped some shears around. What? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, I used to do hair. I used to do hair. I was a teacher at Paul Mitchell too for a little bit. You were? Yeah, see I told you that's why we're the same person. Yeah. Because you used to teach too at Aveda, right? Yeah. Right. Just make sure that um, that things are infinite too. You're infinite. Thank you. Your lips aren't even. Your hmm? mustache hair is not even on your lips. Have you been doing this at home? Yes. <laughs> Pierre, you're in trouble. Please. Back really natural underneath, or do you shave that as well? Like under, under? Yeah. Yeah, I don't touch it at all. Okay. I leave it for structure later on. Um, you know, as it builds up underneath, it will, it will support the front. Yes. Oh my goodness. I've been. I, hey, I have your playbook. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna use the three one three. Got chart. warm in here all of a sudden. And can you explain yeah. this uh, contraption? So this is the facial steamer. This is, a lot of it is mainly for relaxation, but like if we were gonna shave underneath here, we like that moisture under there um, to help open up the pores. So it's a cleaner shave, smoother shave. And same with the cheeks too. Like if we were gonna line the cheeks up, that's gonna help it. But this is more of like relaxation. Are you relaxed? <laughs> The beard wash smells so good. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. I had a couple of clients that bought the um, other beard wash the last time they were here, and they're like, oh, are you kidding me? I'm like, I just found out about this. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm so sorry. But I only have two left, so. If I die, this I want to be around. <laughs> Just leave my mouth open so that people can slide pizza in there. <laughs> you don't like any of the stragglers taking off your cheeks? 
No, I do. Oh. I, I left them. Um, Just so you know where your natural line is at? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, I'll pick them with your line down. I basically like, left them shaved? so you can, if you wanted to like shave down to like the natural line. Yeah. This is what King Tut felt like, I think. When he was mummified? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I assumed they would like put ointment of some kind on the, on the rats, right? Decomposing bodies probably don't smell great. Oh, no. It's just a guess, though. Sounds like you might know. Uh, well, there's a butcher real close to us. <laughs> so. so, Aubrey, you put beard wash in. Yes. And now you are just using just a, a hot, wet towel. Yes. Steam towel. Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of people stylists or barbers in the shop that's where they get confused or like where they don't use the beard products because they're like what am i gonna do how have do i them, get it off yeah, yeah. Have them lean over the sink and yeah. you know wash their beard i used to work with a couple of girls when they did color on the beards they would literally have the guy lean over mm. and like wash his face and yeah like, just get black hot towels yeah. like make it a nice relaxing service for them like who wants to do that they're coming to you to get pampered and you're telling them, oh, sorry, you have to lean over and wash your own Yeah, that sounds very uncomfortable. I actually brag to people how you wash the beard because I, I don't think I've experienced that anywhere else really. So this is gonna be a great, um, like a great technique for folks. Yeah. If they wanna still keep you in the chair and wash your beard at the same time, they Absolutely. can do it. And it just makes it, makes people wanna come back too. The best part. I mean, us girls, we torture ourselves anyways, so I'm like, it doesn't hurt. But then when you actually look at the mask, you're like, oh, it definitely ripped hair off of their face. Oh my gosh. So yeah, it's a little aggressive. Nobody likes peach fuzz on their face though. <laughs> no one's cultivating peach fuzz. Right. <laughs> so, you, oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm uh, rubbing the beard conditioner in your beard now, and I'm gonna Throw another warm towel on your face and then take that off and let the steamer kind of steam your beard up a little bit. And that's gonna help kind of straighten the hair out as well and anything that's like tucked in. So after I blow dry it, I'll be able to see all those little stragglers. And it smells amazing. Yes, it does. <laughs> a lot of barbers like cover the mouth but it stresses me out a little bit so mm. I always leave the mustache out. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <fun>. <laughs> 
I'm just so nervous. Like they're trying to breathe, but they can't breathe. They right. don't want to say anything. So I'm like, I've seen people do that with that black mask as well. Oh like when yeah. When they put it on, they cover their mouth and nose. <laughs> so after we did the live, I um, actually thought about it. Mm -hmm. So if you put the beard oil in or the beard butter in and then use it to blow dry the hair, that's amazing, but I feel like you need a little bit more after too. So now I apply before and after. And sometimes I mix them together and I've been mixing the leather and the peppermint together. So are you, okay? are you cool with that? Um, yeah, back yeah. <laughs> okay. I love it. Perfect. <laughs> oh shoot, I said it again. <laughs> as long as you didn't finger gun me. <laughs> Wait, do you always say I love it? Did you watch that video? My license plate is I love it. No, it's not. <laughs> because, because I always say I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, I was mortified because I watched that video back that me and Ryan did, and I think I said it like at least 37 times. Oh Everything he said, I was like, I love it. Yes. I love it. Love it. I'm like, oh my and God. Ryan, finally at the end of the video, he's like, I love it too. <laughs> so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. My best friend for Christmas, she got me a wine glass, and she did the cricket and put, I love it, on the oh glass. My <laughs> so for my birthday on January 28th, I updated my license. We are the same person. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm always using this one's kind of like used down the middle, but I try to get like this much, especially because you have a big fluffy beard. But if it's a little bit shorter, like more halfway down, I'll use just like my fingernail, like whatever I can get on the top of my fingernail. And I like to rub it in. I didn't know like compliments were part of your service. It's m much appreciated. <laughs> Get a little face massage in there. If there's a face under there. <laughs> Aside from not being able to see, everything else has been great. <laughs> but I don't need to see in order for, uh, for me to know it's being taken care of. I already feel like pounds lighter. And I know it's going to come out great.
every day. You do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't like perfectly straight beard. Yeah. So I do I do medium heat on high uh, high volume speed. Or, yeah, high speed. And then I uh, comb through it and then I do a cold shot after butter uh, to kind of set the style. Okay. And it's funny you said you use it twice because I've been noticing that like depending on how bushy my beard is or how long it's been between trims, I do tend to put a second layer on yeah. um, and then just kind of like run the boar's bristle brush over it um, and it gives it a natural look without it being like super, super straight. Do you like it or do you love it? I love it. <laughs> I love it too. <laughs> I know, lately I've been trying to catch myself I'm like, don't see it. Don't, don't, don't. Let it just be natural. Liz, Liz, she went like, way, she went ham on it. <laughs> it was a, it, I didn't do it on purpose. It's I didn't okay. Even, I didn't even know I was doing it. But I think you were also in the moment too, because the, there was a lot of good information, man. I, I would, it'd be hard for me to not say something like that over and over again. Oh, but, well, when I did that live by myself, like, when I was like, I just need content, it'll be fine. I'm like, let me show you my favorite. I love it. I love it. Like every single one that I picked up, I'm like, in case you didn't know, I love it. By the way, I <laughs> more Yep, and I'm gonna do a little bit less. the end result. Open your eyes. I give you one. <laughs> this is super bright in here now. <laughs> the other uh, <laughs> the other good thing is uh, you know I don't have my glasses so it's gonna be surprising mm. either way. Who's that guy? Oh that's me. in the mirror. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I keep trying every time I catch myself, I like turn, turn. And then, so we didn't do a haircut today, but I'm still, so we don't have this straight line right here. I'm gonna taper all of that in and then freshen it up all around the ears a little bit. Thank you. 
Okay. Like you're gonna walk all weird like you're doing right now. I'm kinda crouched down. <laughs> then ostrich, uh, an ostrich walk. Yeah, get, get the bald spot, Liz. Sure. <laughs> what are you talking about? What uh, I use spray, okay? I'm just <laughs> We're talking about that uh, hair enhancement or whatever, like with the cap. Oh, you yeah. shave the, the top of the head down, and yep. now I see them everywhere on Instagram too. It's very they look, it looks satisfying. Scary. Right? Oh my gosh, they're amazing! I could watch Phil and Zach do that all day. Well, and now I didn't know YouTube had shorts. Yeah. And Isabella was watching those and I'm like, do you have TikTok on your phone? And she's like, no, mom, it's YouTube. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. I used to, uh, probably 2017 ish, I used to shoot from my phone to the YouTube just like two minutes or a minute and a half. Oh, yeah. Just shoot it and then send it. I've lost my, uh, my fire for doing little short videos for one reason or another. I don't even really know why. But I need to get back to doing that. Have you been banging your shins on this thing? Yeah. Is that what I was feeling? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yep. I'm like, all right, either, either Zilla kick the chair or Liz banged her shin on the thing. <laughs> gotta do what I gotta do for the gram, you know? I'll tell you gotta what. Gotta get the shot. I'll tell you what, doing it for the tube. Oh, yeah, it's for a the whole tube. different experience doing it for the tube. <laughs> That's my same blow dryer. I have that same one. The what? Ferrari. It's got the Ferrari. Yeah. Dude, it's my favorite thing ever. This is actually, I won't take credit for it. My sister in law's. Mine's black and it's not as powerful. It's the same one, but not as powerful. It's not? No. I'm glad I got the red one. Too. Yeah. <laughs> it just maybe it seems faster, but it's not really. It's because it's red, right? Yeah, I don't know. It, it definitely is because when we plugged hers in, I was like, okay, we're just going to keep yours plugged in because right now we're sharing the room. And hopefully upgrading in September to a bigger room. So I'm so excited. Um, but I'm like, no, we'll keep yours. The blow dries up there. Yeah, I love it. You have the yellow uh, motor in there, the yellow fan. Yeah. It's good. It's every morning, I grab my Ferrari and I blow dry my beard with it. Yes. Uh, that begs a question. Like, when you're at home and you do, you know, you're blow drying. Uh, technique wise, I tend to, you know, have the comb. I try to like mimic what I've seen yeah. like, stylists and barbers do, where they hold the comb uh, and then follow along with it. So that is the best way. That's what. That's how I started, just so I can like grab all of the hair because right. with the round brush that like so rough curly hair around it really fast, and so then I'm pulling. So I try and get as much of this soft, and so when I go underneath. It's not grabbing the top, it's just pulling out what's underneath. Right. And I went halfway through after I did it, I went through and sectioned this out. Oh. And then I pulled this up and then pulled it back down to okay. straighten it that way. That's what well. you were saying about you know sectioning it yeah. off was actually going yeah. splitting it this way. I thought you were gonna like take sections. Oh no 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 okay. no no, no. Like but then I'll highlights. like pull this so like to make sure that the corners are gone, I blow dry this out so right. that I can see what I left behind. And then, um, but that's what I like to do. I like to do like a, almost like a rough draft before I go back in and like critique everything. Okay. And then, um, Mike, we call that a um, <laughs> truck and trailer. When you're when you got your comb and you're following with the blow dryer. A truck and trailer. <laughs> well, Is it really? The, well, the trailer always goes right behind the truck. That's yeah. right. It does. Yeah. So you constantly just keep it going the whole okay. entire time. Yeah, I didn't. I try not to sit in any one spot either, and I don't use the super high heat setting. Yeah. Unless I'm trying to like hurry up. Yeah. But the the main goal, like when I do it, uh, is part of it is that little bit of straightening. But I think getting the water mostly out of it, out of, the, out yeah. of it, right? Absolutely. Otherwise, it dries, and then you get scaly yeah. skin issues. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing too is a lot of guys are like, well, what is um, the beard wash for? What's the difference? I use the conditioner and. I tell them the beard wash is for your skin. You need that to like really scrub it. And a lot of people just take their beard and like wash it. I'm like, no, you have 
it's coming from your skin, so you need to take care of that. Because right. if you don't, then you're going to comb through and you're going to have flaky skin. It's not going to be appealing like when people are up next to you. So, and there's some clients where I got to screw up their face because the only time they wash it really like good is when oh, yeah. No. yeah, which I'm like, whatever, honestly, like that's what you're here for. But you to take care of your skin. So. And for you, um, when you're trimming beards, can you pretty well uh, see like how ha healthy the hair is, how, how like good someone's skincare routine Oh yeah, absolutely. Be. Okay. Yeah, especially even when they just sit down and I can like, I'm just looking at them, I'm like, all right, we got it. <laughs> in my head, not to them, because I don't want to make them feel bad, but I'll educate them and like, make sure you're really, really scrubbing. Even if you don't want the beard wash, at least use something that's gonna like help exfoliate your skin and clean your face up a little bit if you're gonna commit to the beard. So, right. and they're like, okay, okay, but they say that and then they walk they out the door. So it's up to them to really take care of it. So. Well, that's why you're here. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks Absolutely. for the, the beard trim. I'm gonna throw my glasses on so I can take yeah, a look at this. Yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say, give this man his glasses so we can see the final reveal. Let's do it. This is like a, a home makeover. <laughs> yeah. beard, beard edition. <laughs> Oh yes, very nice. Shape is excellent. Thank you very much. You are very welcome. All right. Well, you guys saw it and you heard it here. And if you have any questions, you can ask our professionals. So why don't you uh, let people know where to find you? Uh, you can message me on Instagram at the underscore underscore Zilla. Um, you can also reach out to me on Facebook. You can, if you have my number, just text and I will be more than happy to help you. Or just come in here. I'm in Rochester Hills at Inside Solo Salon Suites. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I left my wallet at home.